I'm very pleased to introduce our special guest today. Dr. Don Nolt is a pediatric infectious disease specialist from OHSU. As a pediatrician, she's an expert with over 20 years experience keeping Oregon's children healthy and safe. Can you tell me a little bit more about your work, Dr. Knoll? And course. welcome to your state capitol. Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm a pediatric infectious disease specialist, as you have pointed out, and I have a special interest in keeping infections away from our children, and if they unfortunately do get infections, then I have a specialty in treating them. You are a parent yourself, so you know how important this is. So you could talk a little, could you talk with, share with us a little bit about how exactly we are supposed to wash our hands? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, I think of it as three principles. You use enough products, such as soap or hand sanitizer, to cover your hands. And then you make Front sure and back, that right? back uh, along your fingers and your thumbs and your fingertips. And make sure you cover all of that and you do it for 20 seconds. Okay. What is that? If you were to sing a song, what does that sound like? Well, I am not very good at singing, but I can do uh, Happy Birthday two times. What I've heard, um, Governor Brown, is that you could also count backwards from 100, but for me, I'd much rather sing a song. Uh, I would too, absolutely. <laughs> so, um, what are your favorite songs to measure 20 seconds besides Happy Birthday? That's really all I have. Okay. I'm sorry. Do you have any thoughts or any uh, suggestions? Well, I've heard Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes, it is. I love that. So, okay, here's another important question. What's the proper way to cover your mouth uh, when you cough or sneeze? Absolutely. Well, the whole principle of covering your cough or your sneeze is to make sure you don't spew secretions around to people and get them sick. So the best way to do it is to grab a tissue if you feel the urge. I was like looking, I usually have tissues underneath there and I don't. <laughs> That's okay. So if you were to have a tissue and you had the urge to cough or sneeze, you quickly cover your mouth and your nose. And once that's done, you discard the tissue. Don't use it again. Don't you leave it on a table. Tissue. Don't no. put it in your pocket. No. Throw it away. Okay. Throw it away and wash your hands. Now, if we don't have a tissue, the best thing to do in that circumstance is to put your mouth into uh, your, your elbow and sneeze there. Don't sneeze into your hand. Okay, that's really hard. That's this is good. This is hard. this is really important for all of us to learn, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Now the other question, sort of the I'll say the ninety-five dollar question: okay. Who needs to wear a mask? Governor Brown, I think a mask should only be reserved for when you are sick and you are trying to protect those around you. And so, if you have a cough or a sore throat, you would then wear a mask to prevent. There is usually no utility in using a mask if you are healthy for two reasons. One, you are taking a mask away from someone who really should be using it if they are sick. And two, to be quite honest, if you wear a mask, you end up touching your face a lot more as you adjust the mask on your face. And the more you touch your face, the more likely you could be contaminating yourself and getting sick. Mm. So we don't. We should not be touching our face. Oh, we should not be touching our face. But it's really hard. So we do it hard. all the time. I know. Okay. Just resist the urge. All right. The other folks who probably should have access to masks are uh, public health officials, yes. right? Who are caring for and assisting sick people. That's correct. That's correct. Um, so on, a, on another note, I know that a lot of parents, grandparents, mm -hmm. aunts and uncles yes. are concerned about their children mm -hmm. and whether or not they are safe in school. Yes. Could you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. Well, safety in schools is always so important. We want to send our kids to school to not fear that they're going to come back being ill. So what we can do is really teach simple principles to our children, is that it's so important to wash your hands and also to cover your cough. Okay. But kids should go to school unless they're unless they have a fever or a really bad cough, That's right? That's okay. Um, well, here's a, actually a question a lot of our um, kids are asking: okay. um, Can my dog or my cat? catch the coronavirus? Oh, what a great question. What a great question. Do you have an animal? I do. I have one dog and two cats. Okay. And so I would say that it's never been proven that uh, a dog or a cat can catch COVID-19 or spread COVID-19. But we know that animals themselves can spread other things. So it's always good to wash your hands after mm. you've been in contact. Okay, and what are your dog and cat's names? Oh my goodness, uh, <laughs> my dog's name is Lucy, 
and we're fortunate to have two cats who are brothers, and their names are Pippin and Pinion. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with Oregon's children and their parents. Um, appreciate you coming down to the Capitol today. Thank you so much, Governor.